I Snapchatted the girl off his phone or whatever. And she's like lying. She's going with the lie. What's up, YouTube? I'm back with another video. Today's video is going to be a vlog slash mug playing slash story time. Y'all already know I'm coming with the creative videos. But before I do that, I got to do something to my hair because... It's a mess, but I was bored today, so I decided I'm not doing nothing. Why not make a YouTube video and go get some food? See, it's gonna be a seafood mukbang, so yeah, I can't wait. But let me do my hair real quick, okay? I'm just gonna, uh, and yeah, that's all you gotta do. I don't use the bobby pins, I just, my hair just stays up. I don't know. Don't mind it right there. And the edges are away. Yeah, I'm finna change because I'm not about to wear this. Well, I'm gonna keep this shirt on because it's super hot, like stupid hot outside. Let me turn this down. It's super hot outside y'all and I'm not gonna be walking around fully dressed, I'm sorry. I was trying to find some jeans to wear with this, but I mean, I was trying to find some jeans to wear with this shirt, but all my jeans dirty, so this is what it's gonna have to be. Hopefully I don't see nobody, but I know I'm gonna see somebody because it's a Saturday and that place be popping on Saturdays, but who cares? I look cute, period. But yeah, let's go get us some seafood. And I need to figure out what this story time is going to be about because I can't really think of anything right now. I'll think of something. Plus, I asked my Instagram followers. So hopefully, they came up with something by now. If not, it's looking like it's just going to be a mukbang. No story time. But who's going to sit there and eat and not talk? Like, So yeah, I need to figure out what to talk about. Child, the sun is out. Oh, it's so hot. It's too hot. I can't breathe. I'm going to uh, call y'all when I get to the restaurant. My car is in the shop. I sound like one of them dudes. My car in the shop. But no, my car is really getting fixed right now. I had a wreck. So I got to get a new bumper, a uh, new fender, all that. So I'm waiting on my bumper to come in. The thing is, they haven't even started on my car. When I called them, like, well, when I asked them, like, a couple of days ago, my car been in there for, like, over a week now. But I called them a couple of days ago and I was like, hey, are y'all almost done or whatever? They gonna say, we're still waiting on your bumper to come in, so. Louisiana, uh, I said Louisiana. Louisiana weather is no joke right now, especially, it's been raining like buku. So the days they haven't rained, it be so hot, like a hundred degrees. Did I pass it up? I passed it up. Talk to y'all. Y'all, these people is outside with hoodies on. Don't talk about how I'm drinking my water because I got on lip gloss, so I don't be like my lips to touch my water bottle. But it is way too hot to be having a hoodie on. But I made it to crap queen. Y'all, I feel so naked, like, ugh. And then I gotta walk past a group of boys. Y'all already know how they be. Let me get my mask, cause Corona is getting very real again. I feel like it never went away, but it was dying down a little bit at some point. But now it's back in full action. All right. So guys, I got my food. I got me a little daiquiri. My food right there, but I'll be back when I get home. What's up, y'all? I'm back at home. Got my food ready for y'all. I can't wait to eat it, y'all. This is my favorite seafood place, like, ever. Like, ever since I first tried them. Came, not since they came back, the other place closed back down. Like, because y'all knew. Y'all knew y'all wasn't that good. But, I'm going to set this camera up and let's get right into the video. But don't mind me. My face is red because it's super hot outside. Y'all already know. If you like skin, you know. 
what's up we finna get straight into this video let me give me a fork though because i need a fork to eat my potatoes even though i'm finna get my hands all messy damn you hit the spot so y'all this is so good i wish i could taste it So good. All right, let me stop eating the potatoes so I can fool. But we're gonna get into this story time about my first relationship story. It's heartbreak. Okay, so my first real relationship, I was in what grade was I in? He was in eighth grade, I was in ninth grade. We didn't meet at school or nothing, we just had like a mutual friend. We had a mutual friend. My bad. Somebody called me. But yeah, we had a mutual friend who I remember was talking to this boy and he had a friend which was my first boyfriend. I guess he told her to throw him on me or something. I don't know. I really don't remember how we actually met. I just remember it was through her. But yeah, so He was in eighth grade, I was in ninth grade. Um, we were the same age though. But we start texting, whatever. You know how to go. We ended up dating. We actually ended up dating for a long time. Like that was my longest relationship out of all the relationships I had. And stuff was going good, you know, up until when it was i don't know if we was like a year a little bit over a year into the relationship i'm not sure y'all it was so long ago i was like 16 or 17. nah i think i was 16 when this happened but like it's gonna be hard to do a mukbang and tell the story time at the same time but yeah i was 16 when this happened um so he has a sister and his sister got a lot of friends or whatever. So I always used to, I always used to feel like some sneaker was going on just because like, you know, if your boyfriend got a sister and her friends be coming to your house and stuff, like you just, you know, you gonna automatically think something. I know it ain't just me. Cause I was right. Um, One day we had went swimming and I actually, no, nah, she wouldn't know. But one day we went swimming and he had, he had two phones. Like he had an old phone that he used. If your boyfriend got two phones, he doing something on, on that other phone he don't use like that. He, that he don't use like that. But anyways, yeah, he had put his old phone in my, um, swimsuit book sack like you know how when you go swimming you pack a little bag this is so good let me adjust my camera so y'all can actually see the food a little bit but yeah he had a um he had left his old phone in my swimsuit bag and i facetimed him when i got home you know i was unpacking my bag or whatever and i had told him I was like, babe, you left my, uh, you left your phone in my bag or whatever. And he was like, leave, he said something like, leave it in there or, all right, turn it off or something he said. So, first of all, I wouldn't even, you know, I wasn't going to look through it or nothing. Like, I really wasn't. Until he said that, like, that just make it look so, mm. that just made you sound so suspicious. So, when he said that, I'm still, like, we still on FaceTime. And I got the phone out my bag. Turned it on. I don't think it had a password to it. I don't remember. If it did have a password, I probably knew it. But, yeah, I got on the phone. And, you know, I started searching, looking, or whatever. And... Just how I just how I felt, I knew I was right. 
just what I was thinking was in that phone. So, <clears throat> I go to Snapchat because you know that's just that's the first thing you should look at is Snapchat. You already know how to get down on them. I'm going, I don't really see nothing like that, but I see his like friend name. So, me. If I'm going through your phone, I'm going through you and your friend messages, whatever I see, because you know your friend be who be telling all the to. So yeah, why not go through your the friend messages? Group chats, whatever. So yeah, I click his friend's Snapchat name and they talking like, you know, I don't really remember what the actual messages said. I really don't remember because it was so long ago. This happened to like 2017 i think yeah it was like four years ago and yeah i go through uh i don't remember what they was talking about but i knew it wasn't like uh like you and your friend are talking about this so i put the name and tell me why y'all you know on snapchat you could um change the names or whatever like you could edit people go ahead you could edit people um Snapchat name. So, pause for a second. I got the spicy flavor, and it's really not that spicy. Like, it was spicier than this last time. Mmm. Corn so good. I love corn. Anytime I get seafood, I gotta get corn. I don't really care for potatoes. Well, I care for they potatoes, but if I also go get crawfish or something, I don't really be caring to get potatoes. But where was I? Yeah. He had changed the Snapchat name to his friend name, but it was really a girl name. And a girl just so happened to be one of his Hell friends. Hell no, man. What the fuck? Yeah. So, <clears throat> then what the crazy part was, the girl, the girl lied. She was like, um, she was like, oh no. He lied to me. I, we still on FaceTime during all this. So when I seen something in the phone, I automatically hung up the FaceTime call or whatever. He called me back. I don't know if I was crying or not. I probably was. I don't remember. But he called me back and I had told him. I had told him what I saw. And... This is a mukbang. I'm even sloppy, so I really don't care. But I had told him what I saw in the phone. And he was like, um, I don't even be using that phone. I think he said his friend be on that phone or something. Yeah, he said something like that. So I'm like, okay, so she texted like, oh, I said his name. Um, I was like, okay, so she texted such and such like that. And his friend that he's blaming it on dates the girl. The girl he's okay, this is confusing. We're gonna call this girl, um, we gonna call her Trisha. So Trisha and what should we call the other girl name? Trisha and Taylor. Okay, Trisha and Taylor were best friends and they were both friends with my ex uh, sister or whatever. And Taylor dated my ex friend. So they was like on some double, you know, I guess he like, okay, that's your girlfriend, so I'm messing with your girlfriend. Friend. You're like, y'all know how to be. Just how I met him in the first place. My friend was talking to his friend, so I started talking to him. But yeah, it, it seemed like that's some that's like what it was. But <clears throat> yeah. He gonna say, um that was my friend texting her. So I'm like, okay, do your do Taylor know that her best friend texted her man like this? Like, you know. So, I uh, Snapchat the girl. I Snapchatted the girl off his phone or whatever. And she's like lying. She's going with the lie. And at this, like, at this point, they're all in the same house together. Like, they still... I think she was over there that day. Or... Her friend, her best friend was over there or something. So I'm like, they probably all plotting, coming up with a lie right now. 
But basically, yeah, I call him Snapchat and some girl, his friends, I mean, his sister friend, and we had broke up after that. And we ended up getting back together. <laughs> we ended up getting back together, y'all. I know I was dumb back then. But I feel like the only reason I had took him back because I ain't even, I'm not going to say that. But basically, we got back together. But it's like when we got back together, stuff was so different. Like, it just wasn't the same. I didn't trust him. Like, any little thing he do. Y'all girl, y'all females, y'all know how that go. Once you, once your boyfriend cheat on you and you take him back, stuff not going to be the same no more. Like, you not going to trust him no more. Any little thing he do, you going to think, you know, he doing something. Because who wouldn't? And yeah, that's just how it was. And um, yeah, we broke up. We officially broke up. And okay, we started dating in 2016. I don't remember the exact date. It was March 21st, 2016. That's when we when we started dating. And we broke up. Um, at the end of I lied, not at the end of, but yeah. We broke up at towards the end of 2018. And y'all, whenever we first, like whenever I caught him cheating on that girl, y'all, I was so heartbroken. Like I was in my room for the longest. Like I didn't even tell my mama. <laughs> I was in my room. Like I was depressed. I did not want to eat. I was just so sad, crying all day. And my mama never even knew because my mama would always be at work. This happened during the summer, so my mama would always be at work and I'll just be at home or whatever. But yeah, I was so sad. And we ended up breaking up in 2018 for good. <clears throat> and I broke up. No, he broke up with me in 2018 because the trust just wasn't there. Like, I don't know. Like I said, it just wasn't the same no more. And I was hurt. I was really hurt and I felt played because you don't break up with me. I break up with you. So I ended up talking to this other boy. It was kind of, it was kind of fast. Like you probably think, you'll probably think I was cheating on my boyfriend with the boy, with my next boyfriend I had started talking to. But that really wasn't the case. I was just mad. It was just on some like, yeah, I don't need you. I could get whoever I want type stuff. And that's how that's how that went. And then the next boy I had started talking to, he he hurt me. He ain't hurt me even worse. Like I wasn't hurt about it, but he did worse to me than uh my first boyfriend did me. And I had told y'all that in my last uh, story time. So if you haven't watched my last story time, go get into it. So yeah, y'all, that was that. And whenever uh, we did get back together, you know, that was, his, that was his sister best friend. So she was still gonna be around. And I don't know how long that was going on or how long they was talking. I really don't remember because, like I said, it was like four years ago. But, yeah, all I remember is he was cheating on me with his sister friend. And after the fact we had got back together, you know, she was still going to be around. So, I was still like, that was just, it just wasn't going to work. As long as that girl was around, it just wasn't going to work. Then there was the fact the girl, like, she was okay with being a side piece. Like, she was lying, going along with the lie right with him. Like, dang. You okay with this? You okay with being a uh, side piece or whatever? But, y'all, my next YouTube video, I feel like it's going to be the latest video. And I'm so excited because I'm finally collabing with somebody. Collabing with another YouTuber. Her name is Litsy. I don't really know her like that, but that's going to be the fun thing about the video. We don't really know each other like that, so we finna get to know each other, you know? Like, you know, we just follow each other on Instagram, and we both do YouTube, so, like, we like, hey, girl, you want to collab? So, yeah, that's what we're going to do. So, stay tuned for that.
Mm. <clears throat> this shrimp heating for real. Abby, I see what you was talking about. Mm. Whoever cooked this. Like y'all, everything be good. Everything. Mm. From the sausage to the corn to the potatoes to the crabs to the shrimp. I ain't gonna lie, y'all. They daiquiri's kind of strong. Once I drink this whole daiquiri, <clears throat> I'll be feeling a little drunk. But I think that's just because I'm a lightweight. But yeah, back to my <clears throat> ex. After that, we after we broke up, we didn't talk for like two years. I didn't talk to him again until, well, I lied, a year. I didn't talk to him again until like a year later. I mean, okay, we broke up in 2018. Okay, I lied, y'all. My timing is all wrong. We broke up in 2017, and we didn't talk again until like the beginning of 2019. I started back talking to him towards the end, towards the end of 2019. We was just cool or whatever. We never actually got back together, but yeah. I used to be mad at him, like, but now I'm looking back at it and it was just really just childish, like. He was really young. He was in, I forgot what grade he was in. He was in 10th grade when he did that. Yeah, I just feel like he was really childish. But I also feel like instead of him breaking up with me, we really could have made, I don't know if things could have worked out, but I don't know. When he broke up with me, I was just like, whatever. You already know when your relationship's in the end. I'm scared to try this egg because last time it tasted like kind of spoiled or something like it don't taste like that this time. That's how I know I wasn't tripping. Ever since I had it that one time and it was nasty, I don't really want to eat it like that anymore. This is so good. To me, fiery crab is definitely overrated and it, they just ain't all that. I feel like I'm the best crab, like, eater. Like, I really be. When Michaela eat her crabs with me, I be having to crack them open for her because she don't know how to do it right. I have braces. I shouldn't be doing this, but. This is, I never, I never broke a bracket or nothing. Like, and I had it for over a year. So I do pretty good. But let me know how y'all felt about that story time. And it's crazy because <clears throat> the girl it was, she was like the kind of fast one, like the fastest one out of his sister friend group. So like if it was anybody, I knew it was gonna be her. Like I already had a little suspicious Girl's intuition be right, I swear to God. It's always right because in each relationship, I'm feeling something funny going on, I be right. Every time, it never fails. I remember one day, like some years later, I'm not about to be all buddy-buddy with you. I don't care if me and the dude not together no more. And I'll never forget what you did and how you was trying to lie and go with the lie and all that. Like, I'll never be your friend. But one day she can't follow me on Instagram. I'm like, girl, what did you follow me for? I'm not over there. I ain't forget. But yeah. I want to say I saw the girl the day it happened. But I think I did, y'all. Because he had a pool party. Some type of pool party thing going on. And, you know, his sister and her friends were there. And, yeah, the girl, she was... I really... I'm, 
I don't wanna say she was there for sure, but if she was there, she was there, y'all. She had to be. But yeah, like even my face doing like you know when you talking to my boyfriend, like well she wasn't in my face, but it's the fact that we in the same area in the same place. Like, why would you want to be in the same area as me, knowing that everybody around us know what's going on except me? Like, that just made me feel so stupid. You that bold to, like, I don't know. Yeah, I get what I'm trying to say, but that was just very bold. I'm so full, y'all. That's my story time about my first relationship slash heartbreak. We dated for, like, two years and some change. And, yeah. Thank y'all for watching this video. Thanks to those who voted and gave me the idea of this story time. I really appreciate it. And comment. Oof, that decor is so strong. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And let me know what y'all think about this video. Any video suggestions that y'all like to see. I will see y'all next video. Thank y'all for watching. Peace out.